Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, which is all about income-oriented investing, how to generate passive income from a diversified portfolio of high-yield funds to reach financial independence as soon as possible. And today's a great day. I'm super excited about this video because now we have four all-in-one covered call solutions. So, and then there was four guys. I mean, this is a great day. So as you all know, I love the all-in-one covered call income oriented solutions. So we have HYLD, HDIF from Hamilton, HDIF from Harvest, and now we have BMAX, B-M-A-X from Brompton, one of my favorite fund managers, the Brompton Enhanced Multi-Asset Income ETF. So let's find out what this all-in-one income solution is all about. We'll do a deep dive into it. We'll break it down. It's brand, brand new. So we'll check it out together and then I'll tell you how I feel it compares to the other three. So should you add it to your portfolio or not? Let's find out together what this thing is all about. All right, BMAX from Brompton. Let's check out what this ETF is. So on their website, of course, is where you have to go to get the information. And if you click on, I mean, this is brand new. It's going to be available on October 20th. So if you click on why invest, you'll get a nice little fact sheet here of what this ETF is all about. So let's go through it together, everyone. We'll see what's inside and we'll actually go through one by one what exactly you're gonna be investing in. So the name says it all, enhanced, so we could expect some leverage, which this one will have some, multi-asset income ETF. So this is very interesting. It's not multi-sector, it's multi-asset. So as we will see, it not only has equities, it also has some preferred shares, which kind of falls under fixed income. So this is really one key difference right, right off the bat that, you know, uh, that sets it apart from the other three all-in-one uh, income enhancing solutions that I mentioned earlier. So nine to 10 target distribution rate, really, really nice. Uh, income and growth, sector asset class and global geographic diversification. So, I mean, that's really all the diversification you could get. Sector, uh, regional diversification, but this also has asset class diversification. 0% uh, management fee at the ETF level. So obviously, as we're gonna see, this is a fund or an ETF that holds other ETFs. So on, and, and they're all Brompton ETF. So just like HDIF from Harvest has a 0% management fee, this one has also a 0% management fee. So that's always nice. Modest leverage target of 33% of the NAV. So here's one little difference. Whereas those the other three have a 25% leverage, this one has a little bit more at 33, but still very, very modest uh, leverage here. Uh, typically, fund managers, you know, go up to 33%. So investors who are looking for a diversified investment, comfortable with leverage, can handle the ups and downs of the stock market, of course. So what's inside this uh, ETF? Well, we're here is the entire breakdown right here. So you have four sector covered call ETFs. These are all uh, covered call ETFs managed by Brompton. So you have the sustainable real assets ETF, North American financials, global healthcare, technology. So these are sector specific. So 10% each year, 30% in global equity. So you have the Brompton Global Dividend Growth ETF. So this is gonna have dividend stocks from all over the world. The European Dividend Growth ETF. So 10% specifically in Europe here, very, very unique. And then there's 10% in the North American Low Volatility D Dividend ETF. So it's gonna have you know stocks that have low volatility. So safer stocks, things like healthcare, utilities, consumer staples. But there's 30% in fixed income here. So this is really why it's called the multi-asset. Um, you know, the multi-asset uh, fund here, uh, because you have 20% in an ETF that has U.S. preferred shares. So this is really U.S. preferred shares, which kind of falls under the category of fixed income. So a nice big chunk there, 20%, so very safe. And then you also have 10% in a couple, four to be exact, and we'll take a look at it together, Brompton split share funds, but the preferred shares. So you got 30% and really some safer asset classes. And then you have the rest in seven covered call ETFs managed by Brompton. So very, very interesting. A little bit, you know, that's the major thing that's different between uh, compared to the other all-in-ones. There's a bit of fixed income in here um, and there's a little bit more leverage. So as usual, let's break down all the ETFs and funds that are included 
in this. So we'll start with, let's go through these seven covered call ETFs real quick because when you're investing in BMAX, you're basically investing in these uh, these ETFs, right? So we got to look at them one at a time. So the first one we'll take a look at is the Brompton Global Healthcare Income and Growth ETF. As you'll uh, already have guessed, it's going to be healthcare companies. Don't forget, all seven of those are going to be covered call ETFs. And uh, Brompton has, you know, is, is a pretty big covered call ETF manager. Uh, typically, a little bit less yield. They're a little bit more moderate with the with the yield. So if you look at, you know, what this ETF has, it shouldn't be no surprise. It's going to be all the big cap blue chip healthcare companies that you're going to expect. So very, very similar to HHL, for example. So that's the first one. The second one is the Technology Leaders Income ETF. Again, there's several covered call technology ETFs, and we are, we're going to expect same type of companies, right? All big technology companies, although there are a couple of little ones or some that are different that are not in the um, the the harvest one, for example, or the CI one, but more or less you have, you know, all companies you're going to recognize. It's mostly big cap IT companies, technology companies like Apple, Microsoft, Google. Of course, you'll have chip makers as well, like NVIDIA, software, Adobe. So big cap blue chip technology companies. Of course, you have the breakdown here within the sector itself. So you could always take a look at that. Next one is the global dividend growth ETF. So this really is kind of like an ETF covered call ETF version of their split share fund GDV, which I consider one of my favorite, if not the best split share fund because of the great diversification. So BDIV is basically just a collection of global dividend stocks all over the world. So you have obviously a lot, a big chunk in United States and Canada. So 70%, a little bit over that in North America, but then you also have some stuff in Europe and develop. This is only developed countries, right? There's no emerging markets here. So nice, nice, very nice sector diversification with the, within this ETF. So you have just big blue chip companies, all kinds of different sectors here, and you definitely have a lot of companies. So these are the 20 top 25 holdings, and it only makes up 70% of the fund. So I'm assuming this ETF probably has about, you know, 30 up to 40 or maybe even 50 of the best global dividend growth stocks. When you see dividend growth, it means they're trying to get dividend stocks that grow their dividends over time. So really, really cool, very nice diversification. Kind of reminds me of the ZWG covered call ETF from BMO. Then you have BFIN, which is North American Financial. So of course, we're going to expect the biggest banks, best banks and life insurance companies and maybe some asset managers in North America. Uh, mostly United States here, which is kind of different. Usually, you know, products in Canada have a lot of uh, Canadian banks, but this one has a lot in the US, which is a great diversifier. Uh, really, really nice complement to uh, most of our of us Canadians who hold mostly, you know, the Canadian financial. So really, really good blue chip companies here across everywhere. So there's asset managers as well as investment banks, diversified banks, financial exchanges. So a really nice sector diversification mix within the financials, right? So it's not just banks and life insurance companies, but it's also asset managers. So very, very cool. EDGF, this is the European Dividend Growth ETF. So like the name says, we're going to expect all companies in Europe. And of course, you'll always have, you know, France, Great Britain, Germany, Switzerland, and, and, and the more developed uh, countries in EU, all kinds of different sectors here. So you have things like Louis Vuitton, AstraZeneca, uh, British American Tobacco, uh, Nestle, of course, Nestle is always there, L'Oreal. So it's all pretty much European companies that you might recognize and some of them you might not here's ubs the big bank so really cool way to get some europe here europe dividends blue chip stocks here's the low volatility one north american low volatility so this is a very interesting one that has a little bit lower yield um, but it's expected because these are going to be safe stocks so the main sectors you're going to expect is really the utilities the healthcare and the consumer stable. So it's all companies that are, you know, considered very defensive, right? Telus, Bell, those, those are going to be utilities. Johnson & Johnson, Brookfield Infrastructure, Procter & Gamble, Loblaws, Costco. There's your, some consumer staples. Frank, and here's some uh, materials, gold producers, Coca-Cola. Here's another um, utilities, dollar, dollar General. So very, very safe stocks, dividend stocks here that have low volatility. So they're pretty boring, which, you know, is good if you like defense. 
sustainable real assets dividend ETF. This is the, the, the seventh one, the last one. Uh, is like the name says it's all real assets so this pretty much is very similar to their pwi split share fund that has all real assets so when you hear, when you see real assets think of a lot of utilities energy infrastructure real estate i like to call them salt of the earth companies so it's all uh, companies that provide us our basic infrastructure and real assets needs that we all need. So you, you'll have some oil and gas producers, you'll have some energy companies, some utilities companies, even some real estate companies like uh, smart centers, this one here, some pipeline companies, a lot of, um, you know, here's the railroads. And of course, you got T-Mobile, uh, which is like in the US, uh, kind of like a Bell and Telus. So very, very defensive sector as well. So those are the seven covered call ETFs, right? So I just went through these seven and they're all at 10% each. So they're going to make a 10% each holding in BMAX. So that will take account for 70% of BMAX. Now let's look at the rest of fixed income. So you got a big chunk in or 20% in this ETF right here. The Brompton, Flaherty, and Crumrine Investment Grade Preferred ETF. So this one pretty much has preferred shares. So preferred shares is kind of falls under the fixed income category. It's kind of like a, a hybrid between a bond and a stock. And this is all, if I'm not mistaken, it's mostly U.S. U.S. companies. So these are these are literally preferred shares. Very very safe. Uh, quite quite boring. The yield is 5.9 percent. So this adds, I would say, a nice defense or stabilizer and then another the last 10 percent here is the brompton split share preferred fund so what's the breakdown well to actually find the breakdown everyone you have to look inside the prospectus so here it is the last four so is the uh, split share fund preferred shares that are in this fund so you have four of them you have sbc DGS, LBS, GDV, to be honest, it made me happy when I saw them because in my opinion, these are the four best split share funds that Brompton offers. But keep in mind, these are only the preferred share. So they're extremely, extremely safe and boring. So as we know, the Brompton split bank, this one here, SBC has the big six banks, DGS, diversified portfolio of Canadian dividend stocks, LBS has the big six Canadian banks and four life insurance companies and GDV is global dividend stocks pretty similar to uh, uh, not this one here BDIV so the same kind, kind of company so all in all that is the entire breakdown of BMAX guys very very cool um, all in one Brompton solution so it literally combines all their covered all seven of their covered call ETFs as well as 30% in the fixed income diversifier. So how do I compare this or what I, how do I feel it, this compares to uh, when it comes to HDIV, HYLD, HDIV? Well, the main difference is number one, the leverage is gonna be a little bit higher at 33% uh, instead of 25%. But in terms of the sector allocation or what's inside, I feel it's a lot more defensive. I mean, right off the bat, you have 30%. That's pure fixed income here, defensive. But if you add this one as well, the low volatility one, which I feel is very, very safe, you kind of have like 40% in really safe defensive sector. So I would say it will probably have less volatility than those other three, um, but maybe because the leverage is a tiny bit higher, it'll bring it up to the same volatility. So all in all, I absolutely love BMAX. Now we are spoiled because we have four all-in-one income solutions here so it's mostly covered call it's 70 percent covered call solutions here these are all covered call ets but there's also 30 percent uh, of fixed income diversifiers like it says here that's not covered call so i find i really like the breakdown i like the balance i feel like this is a very defensive all-in-one uh, solution out of the four i think this one is probably the one that's going to be the most stable and the most defensive maybe with the least amount of yield i'm assuming it says nine to ten so we'll have to wait and see of course this is brand new but definitely definitely an exciting time to be an income investor because we're getting more and more of these all in one so hopefully this is the fourth one hopefully there's more uh it's super excited super exciting uh, time to be an income investor and by the way if you're interested to know a little bit more about the seven covered call etfs i actually speak to chris cullen i have a video that came out three months ago where I discuss with Chris the Brompton covered call ETFs, the Brompton covered call strategy. So really, really cool video if you want to learn more about the Brompton specific 
uh, covered call ETFs. And by the way, this is just one video in my playlist that I have where I talk to fund managers. So I have a specific playlist in case you didn't know. Uh, where I group all the videos together where I actually speak to the fund managers themselves. So here's the one I was just referring to with Chris for the Brompton ETFs. I have another one with their split share fund manager, Michelle, where we talk about split share funds. Very interesting. And I have some good news for you is Chris Colin, once again, my good friend, um, agreed to talk with me again. Uh, and talk about BMAX in detail. So expect a video, a nice discussion where I'm going to be asking Chris all kinds of questions about BMAX. But here it is in a nutshell, a fourth all-in-one uh, solution, income-oriented solution. What a great time to be an income investor. It's just too easy. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, that like button, and make sure you're subscribed not to miss out on my future content. Of course, hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified for any new content that comes out. Also, make sure to visit our website, PassiveIncomeInvesting.ca. That's where you could purchase my digital product, the Ultimate DIY Investing Package, which is on version 4 right now. It comes with lifetime updates, so you only have to buy it once, which is awesome. So this is a companion tool it's a reference tool that will help you build your own portfolio according to your needs and goals and it covers both the Canadian and American US stock markets so make sure to check it out I have a video explaining from A to Z exactly what the product is I showcase it so there's no surprises if you're interested make sure to check out that video also right there on my website on the home page I do offer a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me so this is a one hour zoom call with yours truly for a, you know in case you need personalized help i'll answer all your questions and i'll help you best i can just remember i'm not a licensed financial planner or financial advisor this, these are just going to be a uh, friendly uh, conversation right it's just going to be my opinions but if ever you're looking for that personalized touch that personalized help you could book a one-on-one -on -one with me make sure to check out the message on top of that calendar uh, that will give you a status of my bookings uh, for that month also, we do have a Facebook group, great Facebook group, over 12,000 members. So make sure to join our community. The group is called Passive Income Investing, a nice Facebook group where everyone is sharing their thoughts and opinions and sharing their experiences. So it's a really nice group. We make sure to stay on top of the scam and the spams and we delete those right away. So make sure to join our Facebook group. If ever you want something more personalized with us, you could uh, follow us on Instagram. That's where we post more personal things on our adventures here in Panama. So follow us on Instagram if you want and how do i always leave you continue to stay safe continue to stay healthy and of course stay passive see you next time